This conference will now be Hello recorded. Guys, uh, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So, uh, guys, now here in this session, uh, I'm going to cover one issue. So, it has taken place. Uh, one of your batchmates actually has sent this issue. So, let's have a look on the issue and then we'll see where is the mistake, what mistake has been done. So, look at here, guys. This is the issue. Only a customer only a customer vendor allowed for document type DZ. So if you guys are able to remember, however, I have posted this issue in the group also, but I couldn't get any response from you people. So anyway, if you guys are able to remember uh, earlier in uh, the live session, I have covered a topic called vendor is also a customer or vice versa. Customer is also a vendor. So in that case, very small settings were there that we need to do, right? So he is testing uh, that one itself. Now we'll check. So even I have taken the screenshot. He has sent me the screenshot of this. Okay, so this is what. Look at here the company code and the customer and vendor number he has sent already. Now let me log in first. Okay. So. So what he is trying to do guys now he is trying to he has posted a customer invoice and vendor invoice both both let me check the customer number and vendor number so customer and vendor he is saying different different number number is there one double zero two five zero now here go to xt02 go to here xt02 and yeah this is the and here htc one now this is the customer click on control data and let me check so look at here the vendor number here is linked is different guys in the screenshot it is okay four double zero double zero two he's and here it is four double zero double zero three anyway we'll do one thing we'll check other things like here whether he has applied a check mark clearing with vendor so this is correct now let me check with this customer which vendor uh, the, for this customer, he has already uh, linked a vendor for double zero double zero three, right? So go to plus n x k. Hope you guys are able to remember this. Uh, what to say? Topic. Now you just do one thing for double zero double zero three. Just come here, apply check mark here and here also. Okay. Now. So correct customer number is there linked in control data control tab and clearing with customer is also so if now here whatever setting is required is fine is correct now let me check slash n f b l one n so this is our vendor number and what is the open item guys 400 right now let me open one more screen here and go to fbl 3n and here the customer will be one double zero two five zero right two five zero so this is the customer number what is the customer number guys one double zero two five zero and sorry i've given a wrong uh, what to say this one Class N F B L five N. So now here we'll check. So one thousand worth of invoices there. Now guys, so what is happening? There is sales sale sale of one thousand rupees and purchase of four hundred rupees. So what is happening now? It means like we are having receivables receivable of six hundred rupees, which is like one thousand rupees sales and four hundred rupees purchase is going to be minus. So 600 we are expecting payment now. So when the vendor is going to make payment, right? Sorry, when the like in the form of customer, we are going to uh, sorry in the form of customer, we are going to receive the payment that is surplus amount only in the sense 400 400 payable and 1000 receivable. So 400 is going to be minus. So 600 will be re receivable, right? So go to F 28 and give a date here. And I think bank account it's 1000. Let me check. 
and 600 payment we are expecting right and here you have to go to one double zero two five zero and press enter so look at here guys now against dr document type this is 1000 this is our receivable and kr means this is our payable 400 in minus so how much how much we are going to receive 600 only so what i have entered i have entered 600 no i have entered 6000 so i will just do one thing guys in that case just click here and let me edit the amount okay so make it 600 okay and then once again so it is 600 rupees right now 600 so i have entered 600 and here amount is assigned also 600 so you just go for simulate it and here payment amount 600 we are going to keep and press enter okay so here we are receiving this we here we are getting this error only customer and vendor is allowed for document type dj first of all so we'll have to check the document type guys because this error is related to document type itself let me check whether he has applied a check mark on like in document type if you guys are able to remember account types are there whether the customer vendor both both account types are linked or not ob a7 ob a7 so just click here okay so here all the account types are linked all the account types are in the sense sorry uh, the check boxes are all the check check boxes are like your check marks are applied against customer vendor material so what is the okay look at here guys now i i got i got now the problem is like we are having like okay now look at here now i'll tell you see uh, if you don't know uh, what is the logic behind this like i don't know like this is online server so even multiple users are there in this so somebody has applied a check mark on this customer vendor check now i don't think that uh, you guys might be knowing about the logic behind this check box and i think i have not explained this because if you talk about this document type also guys there are behind everything there is there is one scenario I'll just do one thing. I'll uh, try to record a separate video on this one. So now what is happening? This, this is what the problem is. This is what the problem is. Okay, let me delete this. Okay, so here you need to, you need to remove the check mark from here. Okay, or else if you apply a check mark here, it means you're applying a kind of restriction and restriction for a particular it means like at a time you can about to say post payment for a particular account only okay now here now here what is happening save it so now here there is no individual account guys in this case we are having what you are having like two accounts customer account is also there and vendor account is also there i hope like if you guys have to like if you are trying to if you guys like want to make experiment and all even you can make experiment you can apply a check mark you just try to so here we have already already we have made what to say already we have tested this one like in that two of different accounts are there so system is throwing error but if you make payment for if you are going to post payment for individual customer then system is going to allow no matter whatever open items are there whatever open items are there even multiple open items are there against a single account that is going to be allowed but multiple multiple accounts are not going to be allowed so that is what the uh, issue is so don't apply a check mark here then only it is possible or else if you're going to apply a check mark then system has restricted what restriction is there because two different accounts are there that is why system was not allowing as i told you i'll try to record a video where practically i'll show you guys how the impact will be there okay so this is what the issue i think apart from this i do not think that any other problem should be there so let me click on simulate once again now here 600 press enter so now just now we have made the changes and just now i have saved but this screen is open before the changes right so once again go to f028 and
Okay, now give the customer number here, right? Press enter. Now, so look at here 600, 600. Now just simulate it. Give the amount 600 and press enter. Now it is appearing, guys. Now uh, it, it's fine, right? If you save it, then what is happening? Your customer line item is also going to be cleared and your vendor line item is also going to be cleared. I haven't explained that topic in details. Why? Because already uh, you guys will be having video for that in live classes also I have explained. Here I just wanted to explain the, uh, what to say, error which has taken place. So as I told you, I'll try to record a separate video, okay? On this, customer and vendor check. Uh, we'll show you practically like, uh, what is the impact on this one, okay? Or else even you guys also, uh, try to make some experiment. Uh, hopefully, if you're going to make some, the way I have explained in that way itself, if you're going to make the experiment and all, automatically you'll come to know the logic uh, behind this checkbox. Or else anyway, I'll try to record a separate video on this. So that's all guys. That's all. This is what the solution, this is what the mistake has been done. Okay, so that's all in this session.